I was so jealous and so unhinged. Chrissy Teigen recalls her early days of dating John Legend and says she was basically a girlfriend from hell. The celeb visits Andy Cohen live on Sirius XM and tells the host about how she would see red whenever the singer would interact with women on stage. Going to his shows when I was younger, like we, when we had first met, and he would pull up a girl for the slow dance. Yeah. And we would fight about this, like, really? at the end of the night. Like, I was so jealous and so unhinged. Andy can't believe it and says he would have dumped her, like, immediately. I cannot believe he stayed with you. <laughs> if you were, like... If you were bitching about this portion at the beginning of your relationship, oh, that was not the how only did thing. he must be so in love with you? I'd be like, this. Dude. If you're bitching about this. Chrissy also talks about a music video that John filmed years ago, and his mild interaction with a woman on set sent her into a rage. The green light music video sticks out in my head. Poor Anthony Mandler. This was the director of it. And I was sitting there watching the monitor, and he was just simply talking to a girl. It was a party scene. And I got in my car. I, like, wheels were going. I was, like, I just wasn't well. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Years later, and she says she's let all the jealousy go, allegedly. Now, how are you now? Great. Okay. Fantastic. Honestly, couldn't care less about like I mean I now I see it I I look at it I'm like it's such a positive fun like fan experience and while Chrissy says John is never ever jealous of her Andy reminds her of the time she brought hunky summer house star Carl Radke on a private jet with her and her husband we saw Carl at Sundance and I'm at the point now with Bravo stars where I think we're friends I have never met Carl. Um, I've never spoken to him but we saw each other at like I think the, the variety booth thing and in my mind, he had a really complicated flight back to New York. He didn't. It was like a Delta first class direct. But I was like, you should come with us. And uh, yeah. He, she, Chrissy basically berated him and forced him to come with <laughs> yes. her. No, uh, I, got, I DM'd him for his phone number. I, uh, I was like, this is Delaney. She'll get all your information, your bag information. He was like, oh, oh, okay. Tegan was super excited to have him fly with them. But John's reception to the Bravo star was less than friendly. And he came with you on the plane. He came with us on the plane. And, and John it, felt a certain way about it. John was, it was really funny, actually, because John was seated already. And then Carl came on and John was still sitting. Like, he didn't pop up to, like, give him a big hug or anything. And then so Carl so, like, graciously came over. He's like, hey, man, I just want to say thank you so much. Like, you, you're like, I love you. Well, like, it was so sweet. And John was just like, for a minute, I could see John being like, uh, like, right. like a little like uh because like, carl's the got fuck? the tight pants and he's carl's tall got the tight pants and, and he tall. looks great he's yeah. like yeah he, he's sober, sober yeah. Clear. yeah yeah and he's just like a really like wonderful like personality like just a, he just like, seems like a fun cool dude that is so funny. but he did pass out immediately and i had so many questions right <laughs> 